Hey guys, today I'm filming my makeup inventory for 2016. I filmed this video in 2015, the beginning of 2016, and also halfway through 2016. I will have all of those linked down below so you guys can see how my collection has changed over the years. And the way I like to do my inventories is actually have my camera showing you the products. I will tell you how many products I have in each category. I will let you know how many I had at my last update and then I will give you my goal for my last update and also my current goal. Sometimes my goal will change. I might want more. I might want less depending on the products I have accumulated since my last update. I'm pretty happy with my numbers, but I feel like it doesn't really reflect the amount of items I used up in 2016. If you guys did not see that video, I did film a video on the makeup products I used up in 2016. I'll have that linked up here. I did finish up 76 makeup items, but of course I did bring in a lot as well. Unfortunately, I'm doing better with my spending, but it can be a little bit tricky. So I'm going to continue doing project pans because that really helps me move products out of my my collection and I like to film updates every six months now because my collection does change so much throughout the year and I'm hoping that by doing six month updates it will more correctly reflect how many items I've used up and brought in so if you guys would like to see all of the details of my makeup inventory then just keep watching for primer I currently have six at my last update I had eight so I have improved in this category in the year of 2016 I finished finished up five primers, but since then I have gotten several, all of those deluxe size samples in Sephora play boxes. I have the Lorac Perfection Mattifying Face Primer, Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing, the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer, Becca Backlight Priming Filter, Cover Effects Illuminating Primer, and the Boots Expert Instant Matte. My ideal number at last update and today is the same. I would like to have two primers, one for oil control and one for pore minimizing. For foundation, I currently have six. At my last update, I had four, so I have done worse in this category. In the year of 2016, I only finished up two foundations, but these three foundations at the end, I did receive as a gift, and these three foundations on the left are close to being finished up, so hopefully by my next update, this category will significantly have gone down. I have the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation, Estee Lauder Double Wear, the Hard Candy Glamouflage in two different shades, the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream, and the Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation. My ideal number for this category from last update and today has stayed the same. I would like to have three foundations. I always want to have the Estee Lauder Double Wear and the Hard Candy Glamouflage in Porcelain. It is my all-time favorite foundation combination. And then I want to have one other foundation that I'm testing out. For concealer, at my last update, I had four. I currently have six, so I have done worse in this category. In the year of 2016, I did use up five concealers, but I have repurchased some and gotten some new ones since then. These two concealers at the end are absolutely brand new. We just bought them in the month of December. I have the MAC Studio Finish that I use to clean up my shadow, the MAC Pro Longwear I use for blemishes, then the other four concealers I have for the under eye, the Lorac Perfection Urban Decay Naked Skin, Kat Von D Lock Pocket Concealer Cream in the Whiteout shade and the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. My ideal number from the last update and today is the same. I would like to have three concealers. I love both my MAC concealers and then I also want to have one for the under eye. For face powder at my last update, I had eight. I currently have six, so I have improved in this category. In the year of 2016, I did use up 14 powders. I have repurchased some. I have gotten some new ones as well. So I have the Ben Eye Cameo and the Wet n Wild Mattifying Powder I used for the under eyes. I have the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless and the NYX Stay Matte but not flat to set my entire face. The Rimmel Stay Matte as a touch up powder and the RCMA No Color Powder. My ideal number for this category from last update and today is the same. I would like to have three to four powders, either one or two to set the under eye, one to set my entire face and one touch up powder. 
For bronzer, I have five. At my last update, I have seven. I did decide to declutter two bronzers and I have improved in this category. I have the Revlon Photo Ready, which you can see I have hit pan on. Benefit Hula, one of the ColourPop bronzers, the Milani Matte Baked Bronzer in Sunset, and the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the Bronzer Shade. My ideal number for this category has stayed the same from my last update to today. All of the bronzers except for the ColourPop are absolute holy grail to me. I never want to be without them. I wear each of them in a different season. I love the tones and the formulas, so those four are absolute must-haves for me. For contour powders, I currently have seven individuals and two in palettes. At my last update, I had six individuals and two in palettes, so I have done worse in this category. My new bronzer is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I received this in a Sephora play box, and I also have the NYX Blush and Taupe, the Balm's Bahama Mama, Sleek Contour Kit in Light, MAC Sculpting Powder and Sculpt, one of the ColourPop Matte Bronzers, and the Milani Matte Baked Bronzer in Sienna. My ideal number from last category and today has stayed the same. I would like to have four. And my four must-haves are these on the top, the NYX, the Balm, Sleek, and the Milani. I like the MAC, but I'm not in love with it. I can do without the ColourPop, and I actually haven't even used this yet, so I need to give this one a chance, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to love that one as well. But for now, my ideal number is four. For cream blush, I have two. At my last update, I had three, so I have improved in this category. I did declutter my other cream blush. I have one from Lancome and one from Sleek. My ideal number for this category last update was either zero or one. My ideal number for this category now is zero. These are both great formulas. They are cream to powder. They're really pretty colors, but I never ever reach for them. I only use my powder blushes, so I definitely want to try to use these up or maybe pass them along because cream blushes are just not for me. For ColourPop blushes, I currently have eight. At my last update, I had eight, so I have stayed the same. I don't have an ideal number for this category, but I would like to try to work through these, maybe pass some of them along because I do not like the ColourPop blush formula. The mattes are really dry and hard to work with. The satins are much better, but overall, I love some of these shades, but I don't love the ColourPop blushes. For powder blush, I currently have 37 individuals and three in palettes. At my last update, I had 38 individuals and three in palettes. I did declutter two blushes, but I did purchase only one within the past six months. I purchased this MAC blush in Painted Candy. It was part of their summer collection. I love this shade as well as all of the MAC blushes that I have. It is my favorite blush brand. So obviously what I'm showing you here is not all of my blushes. I am just showing you a little bit of the variation of brands that I have. So I have Elf Berry Mary, several from the Frat Boy. That is my second favorite blush brand. I have MAC Mineralized and Warm Soul, one from Sonia Kashuk and Melon. The Milani Matte Baked Blushes are amazing. Clink Cheek Pops, I have several. The Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush and Exposed. And I have a Makeup Geek Blush, which is new to me this year, but I believe I had already had this one by the last inventory. So I only purchased two blushes in the year of 2016, which is really good for me. I do not have an ideal number for this category because I love all the blushes that I have. I am a true blush addict, and I do not mind having the large collection that I do. For highlighters, I currently have five individuals and two in palettes. At my last update, I had five individuals and three in palettes, but I'm not sure what palette I decluttered, so I pretty much stayed the same, but I did end up decluttering my MAC Soft and Gentle, and I did get this little mini Becca Opal from my friend Jean. So even though my collection did change a bit, my numbers did stay the same. I have the Estee Lauder Gelée in Heat Wave, the Balm Mary Luminizer, MAC Superb, and then Becca's Pearl and Opal. My ideal number for this category from last update and today has stayed the same. I would like to have two to three highlighters. My favorites would be the Estee Lauder, the Balm, and MAC. I really need to give more of a chance to the Becca highlighters to see how I truly feel about them. Moving on to brow products. For brow wax, I currently have one. 
at my last update I had one. I did finish up one in 2016 and I repurchased it. I have the NYX Eyebrow Shaper Wax Pencil. This is my absolute holy grail. My ideal number for this category from last update and today has stayed the same. I just want this one. For eyebrow pencil, I currently have one. At my last update I had two, so I have improved in this category. In the year of 2016, I actually used up seven eyebrow pencils. The one I have currently is the NYX Microbrow Pencil and Taupe, which is holy grail to me. My ideal number for this category from last update and today has stayed the same. I would like to have two. I always want to have this one in my collection and I want to be testing out another. Moving on to brow pomade, I currently have four. At my last update, I also had four, but I did declutter the e.l.f. brow pomade and I did get this little deluxe sample of the Benefit Cabral so my numbers are still the same. I have taupe and blonde shades from Milani, Anastasia, NYX, and Benefit. My ideal number for this category from last update and today has stayed the same. That would be zero or one. I'm trying to use up the Milani now and it is just taking me forever, but I do not prefer using brow pomades. I would much rather use a pencil and powder. So I would like to try to work through these, but honestly, they're probably gonna go bad before I have a chance, but I am no longer going to buy brow pomades. For brow powder, I currently have two at my last update i also have two i used up one in the year of 2016 and repurchased it i have the lorac take a brow kit in blonde and the mac eyeshadow in omega lorac is more warm tone the mac is more cool tone and i love having both options and they're great formulas my ideal number for this category last update and today stayed the same i would like to have two and these specific two powders for brow highlight I currently have zero. At my last update, I had one, which I have used up. That was the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. My ideal number from last category has stayed the same from last update to today, and that would be only having zero or one. I am wanting to maybe try out the new one from Maybelline, but I'm not sure if a brow highlight is a necessity for me. For brow gel, I currently have three. At my last update, I also had three. I have the Wet n Wild Brow Mascara that is tinted, the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, and the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. My ideal number number for this category has stayed the same from last update to today. For eye primer, I currently have one. At my last update, I had one. So I have stayed the same in this category. I have the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I am almost done with this one. My ideal number for this category has stayed the same from last update to today. I would just like to have one eyeshadow primer. For cream shadow, I currently have 12. At my last update, I had 16. So I've definitely improved in this category. I did use up the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Badge the Bronze, and I did declutter three other shades. I currently have 11 Maybelline Color Tattoos and one MAC Paint Pot in Nubile. I do not have an ideal number for this category. For cream eyeshadow sticks, I currently have 10. At my last update, I had 10, so I have stayed the same. I did declutter a few of these and I have gotten a few new ones as well. I have a deluxe sample size of a Laura Mercier Caviar Stick. I have a Mali Shadow Stick Extra, a L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow Stick, and all the rest are the amazing, incredible Milani Shadow Eyes Pencils. I do not have an ideal number for this category. For single shadows I currently have 17 at my last update I had 17 so I have stayed the same I did declutter a few of my singles but I have gotten a few new ones as well I have a few of the MAC extra dimension eyeshadows one of the MAC color drench pigments a L'Oreal infallible a makeup geek pigment I have one of the urban decay moon dust shadows a few of the regular urban decay shadows prestige total intensity two from Clinique a NYX single a Milani Bella Eyes CQ single and a little sample of a Makeup Forever Artist Shadow I got in a Sephora Play Box. I do not have an ideal number for this category. Next I have ColourPop eyeshadows. I currently have 39. At my last update I had 37. So I have done worse in this category. ColourPop 
really just has me by the balls and I cannot resist all of their amazing, amazing eyeshadows. For my trios, quads, and small palettes, I currently have seven. At my last update, I had eight, so I have improved in this category. I did declutter one of these little palettes. I have some little palettes from Wet n Wild, Alme, and the Maybelline Eye Studio Quads. A lot of these have been discontinued or were limited edition, unfortunately, but I love all of these shadows so much. I don't have an ideal number for this category. And for large palettes, I currently have 21. At my last update, I had 22, so I have improved in this category. I have purchased a few new palettes, but I did declutter some as well. These are not all the palettes that I have. These are just a few, so I have the Balm Meat Matte Nude, the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. I have Custom Made Palette with some Anastasia Singles, Anastasia Modern Renaissance, Urban Decay Naked 2. I do have a palette collection, but I would like to film an updated one as well. I don't have an ideal number for this category. For Liquid Liner, I currently have four. At my last update, I had three, so I have done worse in this category. I have a NYX White Liquid Liner, a Kat Von D Ink It Mini Liner, Jessie's Girl, and Physicians Formula Eye Booster. My ideal number for this category from last update and today is the same. I just want to have two, one black and the one white. Moving on to pencil liner, I currently have 12. At my last update, I also had 12, so I have stayed the same in this category. I did declutter some. I did also get some new ones. I have some minis from Sephora, Lorac, and Marc Jacobs. I have my L'Oreal Hip Gold and Silver Liners. I have some really pretty pastel shades from ColourPop, a Cobalt from L'Oreal Silk Kiss Me, Urban Decay 24-7 liners, one from Sleek, and also a MAC Chromographic Pencil. I do not have an ideal number for this category. For gel liners, I have four at my last update. I also had four, so I have stayed the same. I have these four shades of the ColourPop gel liners. I do not have an ideal number for this category. Next for mascara, I currently have 10. At my last update, I had 12, so I have improved in this category. I did use up 10 mascaras within the year of 2016, but I definitely have purchased some new ones as well as gotten some new samples, and I do not have an ideal number for this category. Moving on to lip liners, I currently have 11. At my last update, I had 12, so I have improved in this category. I did get rid of the Tarte lip liner, so I have the NYX Wonder Pencil and Light, which will hopefully be finished off by my next update, the Milani Clear Lip Liner, and several shades of the ColourPop Lippy Pencils, which are the most amazing formula ever. I do not have an ideal number for this category. For lipsticks, I currently have 23. At my last update, I had 21, so I have done worse in this category. I have gotten a few new lipsticks, but hopefully I can try to work through some of these, maybe declutter a few as well, but I really do love the ones that I have. I have several of of the Maybelline Creamy Mats, the Milani Moisture Mats, a Revlon Super Lustrous, the Stila Color Bomb Lipsticks, MAC Sheen Supremes, Urban Decay Vice, Urban Decay Revolution, Too Faced La Creme, NARS Audacious, and the Clinique Soft Matte Lipstick. I do not have an ideal number for this category, but I also do not really want to overgrow my storage. For ColourPop Lippy Sticks, I currently have 24. This is just a selection of them. At my last update, I had 25, so I have slightly improved in this category. I really do love quite a few of these shades, but I have some I'm on the fence about, so hopefully by my next update, I will have even fewer of these, and I don't really have an ideal number for this category. For Jumbo Lip Crayons, I currently have 12. At my last update, I had 11, so I have done worse. In this category, I did get this mini nude sticks. I got this in a Sephora Play Box. All the rest of my products are the same, and I do have one in my purse. I have the Tarte Matte Lip Surgences, Revlon Matte Balms, Revlon Just Bit and Kissable Balm Stains, and the MAC Pat and Polish Lip Pencils. I do not have an ideal number for this category. For lip gloss, I currently have 22. At my last update, I had 25, so I have improved in this category. I used up my Buxom Gloss in Sandy, and I did declutter my two Dose of Colors lip glosses. Now I have 10 NYX Butter Glosses, 2 MAC Lip Glosses, 3 of the Anastasia Lip Glosses, 2 of the Lorac Alter Ego, 2 of the Buxom Mini Glosses, and 3 of the 
Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Glosses. I do not have an ideal number for this category, but I do not want to overgrow my storage. For liquid lipstick, at my last update, I had 28 total, but I was combining my ColourPop liquid lipsticks and then all of my other brands. And since that update, I have decided to split those categories, and I'm not really sure how many I had of each, but I can tell you that I have done worse in both of the categories as I have purchased quite a few liquid lipsticks within the past six months. I currently have 18 non I currently have 18 liquid lipsticks. I have a NYX lingerie, two of the Milani Amore matte lip creams, two from Dose of Colors, one from the Balm. I have a Sephora cream lip stain. I have a full size and a mini Kat Von D. I have four from Anastasia, a mini Smashbox, mini Stila, and three Jouer liquid lipsticks. I do not have an ideal number for this category, but I do not want to overgrow my storage. Next, I have my ColourPop liquid lipsticks. I currently have 23. This is just a small selection of the ones I have. This is a combination of the ultra matte lips and the ultra satin lips. I don't have an ideal number for this category, but I really want to take a look at my collection and get rid of some of the shades that I'm just not loving. So that was my makeup inventory for the beginning of 2017. If you guys have one of these videos on your channel, please let me know in a comment down below or just leave Leave me your numbers down below. I would love to know that as well because I'm super nosy. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.